one more question that I have for you, Patrick, and it's one that I get asked a lot, and it's kind of a fear-based question that people have. If somebody goes to you, to your website, starts an application, and you run their credit, like even if they're just trying to find out what they can, does that ding their credit? It can. I would say the fear is, will typically outweigh the real needed concern or impact that that's going to have. The truth is that multiple inquiries can eventually weigh on your credit score. I think that the distinction is that that's multiple inquiries being stacked up within a 90 or 120 day period. So if somebody's out there applying for credit card debt at the department store and they got the chase offer in the mail and uh, decided to apply for that to get credit and maybe they shopped auto loans in the last, eventually those incremental uh, credit inquiries that show up will have an impact on the score, but it's temporary. I think the important thing to understand is that one inquiry in and of itself is not going to have a negative impact on the score. And even if it did, there's likely an opportunity that we can discover by looking at the credit on the front end. Maybe there's something that popped up that we don't know about it. Maybe we don't fully understand how uh, all the different factors of the credit score, uh, credit profile influence that score. And there can be opportunity for us to help you get from one of these credit bands that we talked about into the next one. Even if you have great credit, there's opportunity to take your 740 credit score and make it a 760 or a 780 when we have the time to do it. And so my advice is don't let the fear of a credit inquiry hurting your score pause you or stop you from proceeding with what is a much bigger goal and dream. Uh, the credit's going to be part of it, but nothing's permanent on that and you know we can navigate with it well and where i would jump in there is to say look this is why having a full-time fully dedicated mortgage professional is different right you're saying hey i'm not only asking you to draw pull my credit to see if i can qualify but i'm asking you to figure out my total overall financial situation to help navigate me towards my best outcome and that's what patrick's saying is hey we you may be in that 740 category of of scores. And if we could get you to 760, your rate could come down, or we could offer you some slightly different terms or some new opportunities are available to you. We say on this show all the time, you cannot begin to prepare too early, but most people wait too late. So if you call Patrick and say, Hey, I'm going to buy a house next week. I'm trying to close in two and a half weeks. Can he get that done for you? Most of the time, yeah, they could pull it off. But are you going to have as much as many options and be able to prepare for a, the most favorable outcome? Not as much as if you had called him two and a half months early and been able to say, hey, for the next couple of months, let's keep an eye on this. Let's do this. What if it was six months or a year? And that's what we tell people the same exact thing is true for buying or selling a home. If we have three weeks to prep, we can do a lot to help you. But if we had three months, we can put you in the absolute best situation that possibly exists. That may be tens of thousands of dollars in sale price. That may be knowing about homes that no one else knew about as a buyer. But you cannot begin this process too early. But most people wait too late.